I was really trying to procrastinate on doing this video, but I, I met my big mouth promised God the most high that I would make a video. I've been wanting to make videos for a long time. There's a lot of thoughts in my head. There's a lot of truth to be told. Um, this is more of a trivial thing I'm going to speak about right now. Just something to get off my chest. But I went into this thrift shop, right? And it's deemed as a Christian thrift shop. And my experience was I felt really unwelcome there. So, like, I went in the store, you know, I'm looking around. I have my backpack on, right? But, because I don't drive, so I got to bring, you know, I bring my stuff in my backpack, wherever I water, whatever, my lock for my bicycle, whatever, right? That's a whole other story. But, anyway, I go in the store, and, like, right away, this skinny kid, like, you, you can tell. Like, you can just tell when somebody works there, and they're trying to be security, and they're trying to play it off. It's like so freaking obvious. It's almost like you could see it in spirit. It's like, all right, this guy works here. And I'm looking, it's a secondhand store. I'm looking at this garbage, right? I'm trying on these like boxing gloves and they're all falling off my hand. It's just junk, right? And then this lady comes and talks and asks me, oh, do we need help finding anything? I'm like, well, you know, this is kind of like the store where you find things you weren't really looking for. Because it's a thrift shop, right? You, you don't go in there looking for specific things, right? Maybe you'll go to a certain section, but you don't look for specific things, like a specific book in the book section or a specific kind of jacket with the clothes. You know, you just don't. You just find things, right? Something that catches your eye, catches your interest. So what I should have said was, nah, if I need to help, I'll just ask this guy. You know, so I, this guy's like on my back. He's making me feel comfortable. I feel kind of insulted because, like, this kid's like, oh, what, what's he really going to do anyway if, if I decided to take something? Really? He ain't going to do jack. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's keep this Christian like. <laughs> but so anyway, but true to form, man, I mean, I found this book, right? It's the book of Psalms that's coming out backwards, right? And it's by um James Fremantle, right? This dude lived, like, in the beginning of last century, so it's it a long time ago, but the book was published in 1981, but this is an actual gem right here. See, this is, like, see, see like, that's, um, he did artwork in the writing, and that, that's on Psalm 23, so that's the shepherd right there, and uh, you can see this is, it's really interesting, it's, I, I consider it a find. You know, this is what I was talking about. You just find things that you weren't really looking for. You know, and I paid only two ninety nine for this book. This is like brand new condition almost. I mean, that's a gem right there. I'm enjoying reading out of it right now. So anyway, on my way out of the store, it's like I was, you know, I told the cashier or somebody else, I was like, you know, I'm just going to get this off my chest so I don't think about it all night, you know, and I, I want to forgive and forget and just move on. So, uh, um... I told her how I felt, and she was like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry you felt that, like that, and she said it was probably because of the book bag, you know, and I could kind of understand that, but it also kind of doesn't make sense, all right, because, like, I have the book bag, it's on my back, right, all right, I understand it, if I take it off, all right, that, that might be a green light, or, you know, might raise some red flags or something, but how am I going to steal something like this, put it in my bag? Are you gonna trust the, the, you know, you think these little ladies or whatever, like women with these big purses on steel, and they're holding it right here. What's harder, putting stuff in your purse or me going like this, putting it, putting stuff in my backpack, really? And I would, you know, I'm smart enough to keep it on my back. You know, even if I'm thirsty, I'm not gonna go get my water bottle because of the fact I know how people think. All right, but the whole thing about this thing is it's really actually important. It's not just about how I felt about going into the store. It's that, it just reminds me of the, the whole Christianity in this country. It's like they have no trust in the Lord. Like, you know what I'm saying? They have no trust in the Most High anymore. It's like, it's a, it's a secondhand store, really. What do you think I'm going to steal from there? I, I know there's people that would. I don't think that way. I wouldn't steal something from, an, you know, that's expensive. All right? If I find a wallet and it has an ID in it, I'll return it. You know, I've been blessed. I know. My father in heaven, I know him. If I steal something, he'll cause me to lose twice as much as that. But if I find something and return it, he'll reward me with either the same or more.
And it's happened just like that. All right. I'm not going to say any examples or anything, but I'm not, believe me, I'm not high and mighty and I'm no good, but I do have a relationship with the Father and I know, like, his judgments and I know he will chastise me if I do wrong or hurt someone. So, the whole thing is like these Christians, like, if someone's going to steal, man, just let the most high handle it, right? You trust in his judgment, right? They're not going to get away with anything. You know, and you're going to, and the store, if, it, if it's to be blessed, it will be blessed one way or another. You know, and that's ironic because I have boxes of stuff, boxes of books, Christian books. My apartment was flooded and it was just time to do some cleaning. I have like books upon books, like just boxes of books and, and nice clothing. I maybe a lot of stuff I only wore once or haven't even worn to donate to this place. All right. So like. They don't, like, you don't know who's who. Don't, you can't judge me. I mean, I had on decent clothes. I have pretty boy hair. You know what I'm saying? I don't look like a gangbanger. So, like, why are they on my back? Or, don't tell me it's racism. Don't tell me it's racism because you're going to be shocked when you found the Lord Jesus was black. I believe he was a, a black man. All right? Can I say for sure? No, but there's a lot of deep evidence that points that direction. And I'm all for it. No matter what it is, I'm all for that. But, no matter what race or color he is, all right? But the thing is, um, these Christians are like, I can see them out of fear attacking each other. It's a sad situation. Like, they're just going to be attacking each other over a freaking box of crackers, what's coming down the pipeline with the famine and everything. I'm sure you could see what's going on with the store shelves. They use COVID or whatever they want to call that thing, right? I said it once. That thing... It's going to be used as an excuse for everything. For starving you. For locking people up. For executing people. They want to start calling people uh, terrorists. that don't want to um, do that thing. Right? Get that thing stuck in them. And it's for good reason. Those who know not to get it. They know not to get it. And I'm telling you.